Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. And welcome to the Stamp Around UK um, video hop. Every month, on the first day of the month, a group of us UK demos get together and we all record videos and we put them in a hop so that there are loads of links for you to hop around watching all our videos, all on a theme, and hopefully getting some inspiration for your own crafting project. And today, our theme is anything but a card. Those of you that follow me regularly will know that I'm 99% of my projects are cards. So this themes like this always push me out of my comfort zone. Sorry, just a slurp of coffee. Um, but I, I do quite like a challenge as well. So today I'm making this little box that is, a, is like a gift wrap for a little mini bottle of um, Prosecco. These bottles you can get in, I, I got these, I think they've got these in Aldi actually, but you can get them in Sainsbury's, um, I know, probably Tesco's, all those places. These little bottles of Prosecco, they're quite sweet. Um, and just to pretty it up and make it into a bit of a nicer gift, I think was a really nice idea. And I used, um, to do this one, it's Blushing Bride cardstock, and my panels are decorated with the Love You Always Speciality Foil papers um, from the Spring Mini catalogue. Um, and a little treat for you on there is from um, Oval Occasions. And then I've just cut it out with a stitch circle and a little scallop circle to attach onto there. Anyway, we're going to use the same products but different colours. So we're going to still we're going to use Rococo Rose and we're going to use the foil that goes with Rococo Rose. So I'm going to show you how I made it. So you need to start off with a piece of cardstock that measures 21 across one side, which is actually the width of an A4 piece of card, and then you need to cut it down to nine and a half, this 19 and a half centimetres this way, sorry. And then you need to bring in either your scoreboard or your trimmer. I'm going to do it on my trimmer. And this way round, I've lost my bit of paper now, you need to score at one end at four centimetres. and the other end at three and a half centimetres. So just turn it round and score. So four and three and a half. And that's on the, the um, 21 centimetre. That's 21 centimetres going there. So I'm going to turn it round and put it so that the 19 and a half is going across the top. And I'm going to score it every three centimetres. Now this fits my bottles of Prosecco, but I'm guessing that there might be some different dimension bottles somewhere. I think, you know, not all wine bottles are equal. Um, and I do have to thank um, Crafty Caroline, who used to be my upline. She was a um, Stampin' Up! demo few years ago and I joined under her but she left about a year after I joined because she was moving to Germany um, and so I rolled up to a different um, team um, upline um, but Crafty Caroline had some wonderful ideas wonderful projects on her YouTube channel which is where I look today and this is so I've adapted her idea using my own measurements so that's all the scoring you need to do. So I scored at 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18. And then that leaves a one and a half centimetre tab on there. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to burnish all of those score lines. Like so. Just make sure they're really nice. got a really nice crease. And then this way. So this is a hexagonal box, it's got six sides um, and I found that by measuring the sides at three centimetres it's a, just a lovely snug fit for my bottle but like I say yours might be different, in fact I'm not sure this, this, this bottle is exactly the same as the one I used in the previous um, project so we'll find out, I haven't tested it so in a minute we'll find out whether I was right. There, and just this last one. And then we're just going to do some cutting. Oh, no, we're not. Before we start cutting, we're going to do some gluing. Um, right, okay. So the four centimetre tab is going to be the one that goes at the top. So where you scored four centimetres, that's going to be the top of your box. And then I have got six panels of the beautiful foiled paper that goes with this Rococo Rose. This is the Love You Always Speciality foil paper. It's still available. It's in the mini catalogue. It won't be retiring quite yet. 
got it around until June so you've got plenty of time to buy it if you like it so what we're going to do so I'm actually going to use Tombow to glue these down you could still use them um, you could use fuse if you wanted to not fuse what do I mean seal stamping seal um, I'm going to use the seal to put the box together in a minute but I am going to use wet glue just to lay down these um, these panels so it's just six little panels to do and it just gives a nice little bit of decoration and I don't know if you can see that foil shining but it's absolutely lovely and what's even lovelier is how it coordinates with the cardstock it's absolutely perfect coordination and that is the brilliant thing about stamping up products is you don't need to worry about coordination because the colors go together you can buy cardstock ink DSP ribbon embellishments all in the same color and they will just go together and what what it does is make your crafting look so professional and so much better without you having to put the effort in before I started crafting I can remember one particular occasion I was trying to make a card and I had a little bit of yellow ribbon I've made a tag that I'd stuck on my card had a little bit of yellow ribbon in it and then I wanted a bit of patterned paper to put down the side and I had a drawer full of patterned paper and I fished out all the yellow ones with yellow in and none of them were the right yellow to go with this little piece of ribbon that I had and I was just so exasperated it's like oh what am I going to do? And so Stampin' Up, when I discovered Stampin' Up and their coordinating products, was such a revelation to me. And I have never looked back, really. Um, so you can see how wonderful. This is a gorgeous colour. I'm sorry to say that in a couple of days we will be losing Rococo Rose. It's one of the retiring in colours. So you need to get in really quick if you want it. So although the foils, the foiled papers will still be around, you won't be able to get the matching cardstock. So make sure that if you want a pack of the cardstock, buy You can either buy it as just Rococo Rose or you can buy it in a pack of the in colours. So you'd get um, Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, terracotta tile rococo rose and another one oh um purple posy yeah purple posy there's a problem with the um with the ink but the cardstock is available purple posy is a lovely lovely pale lilac really gorgeous color i love that color and that's going unfortunately but we have got it being replaced by another lovely lilac fresh freesia which if anything is even better i think so I'm not going to be too sad for too long. Right, just one more of these to stick in. To stick down. There we go. So you can see I'm using Tombow, but because I don't like the glue all squirt squelching out of the side, I always smooth the glue down. Now the Tombow does have a, a um, spreader on one end. I actually, I've, I'm just so used to doing this, that's the way I do it. But you don't have to do it like that, obviously. You can use the spreader. But I do think it's worth spreading the glue out so it doesn't all ooze out onto the to be seen on your project. Right, so that's our decoration of the sides. Right, now we're going to do some cutting. I'm going to find my snips, which I have found, by the way. I don't know if you were on my video a while back. Some might... I'd lost my snips and it was because I'd been doing some crafting in the lounge and left them on the table and my husband had helpfully cleared them up and put them in the kitchen drawer with all the kitchen scissors so I wasn't very pleased about that I don't think I don't think he'd use them he might not be talking if he'd use them yeah this is I'm just just had a panic then that I wasn't doing this right but I am these are this is going to be the bottom of my box these tabs are going to fold under to form the bottom and I'm just wedging them slightly. Can you see? I'm just putting a slight wedge there. Um, don't necessarily have to do that because we're not. Um, it's not like making an, a normal box with four sides. But I'm just so used to doing it that I do it. And then I'm going to cut off this tab at the end here. I don't need this. So I'm just going to cut there and then a tiny wedge up there. And we're done. Get rid of those. Then on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my ruler in. You can do this on the trimmer as well if you wanted to, if you don't have a ruler to hand. Each of these measures three centimetres. So I am just going to mark at one and a half. So right in the centre of each of those, those tabs where you've scored. So between the score lines, one and a half centimetres. I can see. It's pretty tricky in this light to see, to be honest. 
there we go and the last one so just give yourself a little mark and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut off this tab like we did the other one just cut that bit away and then we're going to cut from the mark I made down to that corner so we're going to end up with triangular tabs here and then from here down to that one so down one side down on the other side down on one side down on the other side down and so on so you just get a row of triangle triangles and what we're going to do is we're going to punch holes in those triangles so that in a minute we can thread some ribbon through them so I'll just finish off this last one hope you've been enjoying all our relaxed restrictions if you're here in the UK it's been so nice to get back to a little bit of normal yesterday I went and sat in a garden of a cafe and had coffee and cake and a chat with my friend and it was so lovely to be able to do that we used to do it quite often and now it's just such a treat to be able to do it right okay what we're going to do is we are going to end off my seal we're going to glue down here my seal is going to work there we go this is seal plus actually so i want this to be nice and strong glue down there and then if you bring this over it should exactly meet and just give that a good press because you want that seam to be nice and nice and secure and then we're going to pop it and we're going to pray that it fits over my wine bottle it's, it's a very snug fit but it does fit and if you do it any bigger then you you have trouble because it's too big really so these ends are going to fold under like that to form the bottom of my um, carrier and if you wanted to you could cut out a die cut circle and put that over there to cover that up I haven't bothered but you could do that so what I'm going to do is this not quite as tall seems like these are a bit bigger oh before I do that let's forgot step so let's just take it out we need to put the holes in so I've got a little handheld eighth of an inch handheld pump punch if you don't have that you could just make a hole for the ribbon to go through with your pierce tool or your take your pick tool. Um, in fact, if this isn't going to work, I might end up doing that. Why is that not going through? There we go. Um, so you just need to try and centre that on, one, on your triangles. So six of those to punch. And then we're going to thread, in a minute, we're going to thread some ribbon through these really decided what ribbon I'm going to use on this one actually I'm trying to get them centralized I'm not succeeding all the time and two more to do so we used to sell these little handheld punches at Stampin' Up but we don't anymore you can get them I find mine really helpful I've never got rid of mine I do sell a lot of my Stampin' Up stuff once it retires but this is this was something that I didn't feel like I needed to sell because I thought I would still probably use it quite a lot and then the last one making this look much more difficult than it is on the other one I didn't not quite so damn fisted there we go right so let's pop his sleeve back over him push it up push the ends in and then I'm going to push the wine bottle down so that I know that I've got it exactly where I want it and then I'm just going to take my Tombow and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some I'm going to put that one down and then I'm just going to put some glue on each of these tabs and glue them down because you've got the bottle in there that's helping it to keep shape which is really helpful you can do it without putting the bottle in but I find it really helps to keep the bottle in there 
So that's the basis of the box. We're then going to take a length of ribbon. Right, I'm going to use the same ribbon as I used here. It's actually Blushing Bride, but it doesn't go too badly with um, the... Um, actually, maybe I won't. No, maybe I won't. I, what I might try, and I'm not sure if this is going to work, so bear with me. I'm going to use our metallic edged, which is again retiring, but this is very vanilla. Oh, I haven't used this one, it's a new one. Um, very vanilla with gold edging. So I'm going to use that um, through this one. I'm going to take, so I want it to go round my box, and then I want enough left over to be able to tie a bow. So I'm going to take quite a long length. And it's a, quite a wide ribbon to go through these holes, but it will go through, but it will shred the end of it. So you need to have enough so that you can cut off. So you want to make sure that you pull it through. So it needs to go from, I hope you can see this, from behind on one of them. It's quite fiddly to get the end through, there we go twist it round so it's the right way round um, and then over through, through from the front on the next one and just keep threading it through and then from behind on this one that's not a very central hole just going to try and so if you've got enough length you could cut it and start again with a new point because it is it is fraying the ribbon quite badly as you put it through but it's okay we can survive them just might need some jiggery pokery might be better with um thinner ribbon actually but i didn't have any um in the colors that i wanted um so i thought i would try with the wider ones um there we go and then just one more bringing this out here and i might just oh, i'm going to cut that off it's too shredded for me to put through let's try now go right and then and then just tie a bow like so and that's your wine box mostly finished and then if you want to put a little label on it I'll show you what I did and actually, because I've used very vanilla with my ribbon, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I quite like that. Very nice. Just trim a little bit off. That works well, I think. I'm pleased with that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of very vanilla card, which I wasn't intending to. On this one, I used self-coloured card. I used... Um, blushing bride but I am just going to fish out a little bit of scrap very vanilla I can find my very vanilla there we go just want a little bit there we go that will do don't need a big bit I keep all my scraps in a little box so that I can use them up and I'm using this um message which says a little treat for you which I thought was quite nice because it doesn't need to be a birthday or a thank you it can it's for any occasion so whoever you wanted to give these to it would be quite nice so I'm going to stamp this in Rococo Rose which actually have been on my pile of stuff that's retiring but I dug it out for today a little treat for you oh, that's nice liking that liking that better than the other one actually um, so let's bring in my little mini emboss and the plates I've got everything to hand here in my room I hardly have to get up at all very lazy way of crafting <laughs> right and I'm using one of the stitched the smallest um, stitch shape circle so I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to secure that onto here wherever I want it to be so it's fairly central and then pop that through there 
And then the last thing is I just need to do a backing for that mat to put it on. And I'm going to do that in the matching foil cardstock. So we used the speciality paper and now I'm going to use the foil. And I'm going to do one of the smallest, I don't think it's quite the smallest, but one of the smallest scallop circles from the layering circle set, which hooray are staying in the new catalogue. So I use them an awful lot. The stitch shapes are going, sadly. I use them an awful lot as well. Very sad to see them go. I do understand how Stampin' Up! has to make um, room for all the new goodies, but I do hate it when some of my favourites go. There we go. So, let's get rid of my Stampin' and Boss. That's my circle. There's my message, my sentiment, and that's just going to mount on there and have a tiny little border of foil, so you can hardly see the foil, but it's very important that it's there. Let's take my seal. Oops, it's coming off the roller. I'm using this, trying to use this more and more, because actually I do find it quite convenient, but I'm still not an expert at using it, so obviously need more practice there but I'm using this because I don't think Tombow would work very well on this because it's gluing onto foil and foil is not very porous so it doesn't give the Tombow anything to grip onto to get any purchase right so that is going on our wine bottle now the, the bow doesn't quite line up because um because it's a, a, a join and we need this sort to be on a flat piece so that annoys me a little bit but I'm living with it and I'm just going to take a couple of dimensionals. So I'm going to put a couple down the middle here. And then I'm going to cut. Oh, have I got some half ones? I've got some half ones here, actually. Some cut ones. I'm just going to put some on there, one on there. And one on there. I'm not going to put them right to the edges of the sides because that's going to overhang the bottle. So just remove these. And pop that on there. And there we are. There's our decorated mini Prosecco bottle and another. So we've got two there. Two mini Prosecco bottles. Um, and I think they're really nice. Really pleased with those. Yeah, they are slightly different because it's got different patterning on here and different lid. So they are slightly different, but they're fine. And I've now got two little treats lined up to give people whenever I need a treat. So I'm quite happy with that. So I hope you'll carry on. If you go down to the bottom of my video, to the description, um, you can see you can see a list of all the other links that you can go to to watch and they'll be beautiful projects I mean this one will, this hop will be more exciting than others I think because we're not making cards we're making all sorts of probably 3d projects I would imagine um, or home decor projects maybe there'll be all sorts of different things so please do go and have a look at the others and see what they've all been up to but I hope you've enjoyed my project today maybe you'll give it a go i think these would be quite nice little gifts to have ready to give people in the cupboard um so anyway that's it from me today thank you so much for watching do continue hopping and i will be back very soon to show you more projects if you'd like to see more please press the subscribe button on my channel that would be great great thanks very much bye bye for now